Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Zeo Drifter. Last time, we did a little bit of exploration, got a submarine, got an upgrade for our gun, got a couple health upgrades, killed a boss, we actually did a lot in a short period of time. It's now on our second planet here, let's do a little more exploration. And it seems like the gun power-ups um, actually do carry over to your submarine, I didn't even realize that. Um, I have no idea how many gun power-ups we're going to get, but we can change them freely. In fact, I wonder if there's even a an easy flip. Well, I'll we'll fiddle around with that later. I'm also of an interesting note is the map shows our current planet and the previous planet. Um, I don't know if that's going to just show all the planets. Yeah, maybe it does. In fact, it looks like we're on the two smallest planets, so I, I chose wisely. You know, theoretically, at least. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a terrifying enemy up here. Yeah. He does two health damage every time he runs into us. And he has a lot of health. Hmm. I wonder if perhaps I should stay in my submarine or just avoid him. Because he means serious business. Unfortunately, with our rapid fire, uh, kill these guys a little faster. Also, I have to imagine, like, max out rapid fire must produce an incredible stream of bullets. And I don't think enemies have invincibility frames, so the faster you fire, the faster you kill them. Yeah, see, we actually get some armor if we're in our submarine, but. Our ability to hit him is really, really limited. Oh, I should certainly go for a damage upgrade. Let's see if I can dodge him. I'm determined to kill this damn bug. Oh, we got him. Wow, if that's a regular enemy, that is incredibly difficult. I'm also concerned about this fella. Let's see if I can sneak over. Yeah, there we go. Now, I could really use... Hey, uh, ooh. Well. Hmm. I think we found a dead end on this planet, in fact. Yeah, so we must get some sort of, like, jetpack upgrade or something, because I can't, uh, I can't go there. Hmm. Well, let's head down back to our ship. It doesn't look like enemies respawn just from going off screen, <laughs> thankfully. So we have a more or less clear shot back. These guys are still here though, I think. I don't think I killed all of them. Ah, uh, yep, there's one. <laughs> Alright. I got an achievement called We're Sorry. I don't know what that is, but it shows the, uh, the icon of that B. Maybe that's the developers apologizing for that incredibly difficult enemy. Alright, so, we can't go there yet. Um, let's head to this kind of purpley planet. Save here. Oh, there's one of these sandworm guys right away. In a much more difficult configuration. This would be a good place to have the spread gun. 
Uh, okay, we can jump. Can we jump down? Yes. Good information. Alright, let's go explore. Oh. Kind of like uh, that eyeball from the previous area. That one only fires at angles. I think the little pieces jutting out from the sides show which way they're going to fire. Yeah. Those little blue pieces kind of show you which direction they're going to fire in. I wish I had some sort of on-screen map I could pull up, but... Very, very, very minor gripe. Uh, those are shots, I think. Some sort of snail enemy. And these shots deflect our shots. He's got quite a bit of health. There we go. See that background again? That's, that's gotta be. And Mutant Muds had a. Another game by Renegade Kids, if you're not aware. Um, had an effect where you could jump into the background, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that again. Sneakily stay on the side there. Always very suspicious about these big blocks now. Head on down. Mysteriously safe hallway. Oh, and an orange door. There we go, another submarine area. Now, I'm usually not a big fan of underwater sections in games, but the fact that it controls well and there's no time limit or anything like that, I am totally okay with this. There's no crazy momentum, there's no, you know, air meter or anything, it's just, just another mode of exploration. Oh, they're one of those circular areas that looks like you might be able to break the wall or something. Oh, now it's definitely as reminiscent of Mega Man 1. I don't think you get any, any bonus for destroying everything. But it does make me a little crazy to leave things behind. Now, this is actually is splitting up into different areas, it looks like. Get this, try this yellow section first. And this is already a much, much bigger area than um, the previous plants. In fact, there's actually an upwards section we could go to. Hmm. Ooh. Gotta be careful where I stand there. There we go. Ah, oh, secret passageway. And a health upgrade. I really didn't expect that. I was kind of just like, well, I can't go f any further in here, so... Um, yeah, so okay, so we can't progress in the yellow area. Then we'll play the magical game of... Can I remember where all these areas were? So let's go to blue. I wonder if we eventually get like an x-ray visor type of upgrade. I want to see those hidden areas a little easier. One of those rounded wall areas again. Hmm. Very suspicious. Also, I haven't talked about it much, but the uh, the art style, very nice. I like it. I, I mean, I'm a big sucker for pixel graphics. I know some people are kind of tired of the retro aesthetic. I don't think I ever will be. This is what I grew up with. I like it. It looks good. Um, well done pixel art, I think, is beautiful, very simply put. And the uh, I like the music. The music is simple, and it kind of calls back to that 
you know, Nintendo era aesthetic. I can dig it. And it's fitting too, it's you know, kinda of mysterious. I like it. Hmm. Well, we can jump down here, I believe. Okay, he will hit us if we stand. Good to know. Are they different colors depending on which direction they travel? They must be. Now we must be getting another power-up of some sort soon, um, because we don't have a lot of areas left to go. Hmm, oh, can't go up there. Can we jump down here? So where are we? Yeah. Now uh, I wonder, those, those red dots must be bosses, so we're actually starting to approach that, uh, that boss room on the left. Looks like it's probably up this way. We'll go up this way first, regardless. Uh, no, we won't. We'll check down here. Cause that, no, <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a hidden wall. I'm just checking for him everywhere now. Oh, can we shoot through hidden walls? I didn't check that. It's something important to, to check next time I find one. If I ever find one. Got the hang of these guys at least. It's an enemy spawner. Looks like they're putting one of these outside the boss doors. Yeah. Alright, boss time. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's it's another one of these guys. Interesting. Zombies must mean these must be like power up guardians. This one seems faster than the previous one. Oh, oh, oh goodness, what is that? Yikes. Alright, so when he does that, we gotta be ready to dodge. I'm feeling a little more confident because I have more health. I can afford to make a few more mistakes. Alright, here we go with that spread shot again. Oh, no, what's that? Oh, he's healing when he does that. Got it. Oh, our damage isn't really holding up here, though. That last, uh, trying to jump through those is very, very difficult. I, I jumped into him there. Oh, don't die now. Just heal. Nope, he's gonna do the spread shot. Oh, boy. Shoot. So close. Well, fortunately, pops us out here. We got him this time. If I jump high enough on that first dodge, I can get him to fire upwards on the second and third. You can actually see here where speed, or uh, projectile speed would be useful. Get more shots in before he jumps. I think he's gonna heal now? Yeah. That's fine, heal all you want. Well, within reason. Alright, 75% of the way there. Oh, that's a quick shot. I finished this off with only taking one hit. Ah, that was pretty good. Alright, what do we get? The Triforce, now what is it? Plane shift! Oh, okay, so this must be what I was talking about. Must be able to shift into the background here. Can't do it there, though. Yeah. Oh, and it actually just puts us right in the background. If you've lost track of where I am, I am actually in the background now. That's interesting. 
Oh, that's gonna make my brain go wonky. All right. That's a neat mechanic. I like that. Hidden wall? No. Ooh. So, I'm assuming we can only plane shift if we can see the background. That, oh, wow, that opens up a lot of areas, I think, actually. Yeah, we can't plane shift here. We can't get through that. We need some sort of bomb or drill or, I don't know, something like that. So we can plane shift here. So maybe we don't get any sort of, uh jetpack or anything, we just use this plane shift. I wonder if there's a hidden... Eh. I don't, not all enemies knock us back, but those guys do when they hit us. Can we shift back? No. It's actually pretty difficult to see some of these shots when you're back there. Alright. Now this, um... Oh, I think I see what's going on here. Yeah, there's like a screen in front where you can and cannot uh, plane shift. So when there's no screen, it's it's basically your indicator that you can shift back. Um, boy, I really don't want to die here. I wonder if I can make it back up to the boss and that enemy spawner. I think that would be a wise decision. I'm gonna take my time. Don't want to die. Because now I'm pretty sure if I die here. It's gonna go back to my save point, which was quite a ways back. Be very careful here. Don't wanna mess this up. I really don't want to jump into it. Oh, come on. I suppose I could hit them like overhead if I don't catch them coming up, huh? I didn't even, you know, I wasn't even thinking that the, the shape of them is actually the health globe. Alright, let's get out of here. And look for places to phase shift on the way back. Um, have I been down there before? In fact, there's a place to phase shift right there. How far away from getting back out? Pretty far, actually. Hmm. Maybe we'll do a little more exploration. Oh, I'm a glutton for punishment, but... Let's see what else we can find. Oh, that's a uh, gun upgrade. Nice. Alright, uh, I'm on a curiosity. What happens if we do double spread? about double wave. I'm not actually sure what that does. How about if we do one of these? Is that more damage, perhaps? An easy way to find out. Yeah, that's... Okay, so that one's damage. Just flat-out damage. Um... I don't know if I want that with my immediate points, though. Where are we here? You can actually see in the, on the map the phase shift areas are shaded a little darker. I 
I don't have a good frame of reference of just how... Uh, probably a lot more damage. So maybe we'll stick with, with plus one damage right now, and then go back to rapid fire after we've gotten a little further along. We can phase shift as the submarine also. Which is probably how we get into areas like that. Oh, I'm taking foolish damage here. Yeah. Oh, here's a health upgrade. Very nice. That refills too. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, is there anything here? I'm gonna take a quick look just to see if there's a hidden wall here. Just because it seems strange to me that there wouldn't be. No. Oh, hmm. Phase ship is. Uh, phase shift is also instant, so we could kind of use it as a dodge. If I could wrap my head around that. Alright, where else we got to go? Um, can we go to the yellow area now? Maybe. Let's try it out. Definitely go here now. Ooh. That Is that gonna insta kill me? No, but it's gonna injure me. Yeah, okay. So what that means is back to our ship. And now that we can phase shift. Uh, we can go back to the first planet and explore a little bit. Um, and the second planet, for that matter. Oh, dear. <laughs> Alright, that's where we came up. Just don't die on your way out. That was a little risky. Also, if it wasn't obvious on the... Uh, Thing here. I mean, I can set separate uh, loadouts, I guess you would call them. Oh, do we one-shot these now? I didn't even check. Yeah. Does it show secret areas on the map? Hmm. Here's another phase shift area. Can't quite hit this guy from where we are. We don't get any benefit from killing him, but I just don't want him to be in our way. Close to the exit, are we? I'm <laughs> really nervous about dying and losing any sort of progress here. If I do die at this point and actually do go back to my save point, I will just get back to where we are off camera because no sense in you having to watch that whole exploration all over again. Oh, is that another gun part? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. So, I think I'll take point in rapid fire. Yeah, so that'll actually dramatically increase our uh, DPS. Hmm, you know what I'm not thinking? Was there anywhere up here? Like if I... Come up here and then phase shift out. Yeah. I bet there's a. Um, no, there's not. <laughs> I thought there may be a secret there. 
Okay, so. Time to get back to our ship. And we've explored all of this that we can explore now. We'll very carefully make our way back to our ship. Very, very, very carefully make our way back to our ship. get killed by one of these after all this. Is there anything? No, okay. Alright, and we're back. Whew. Save. Alright, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click like. Helps a lot. And subscribe if you'd like to see more Zeo Drifter. See you soon.